hey everyone uh, welcome to my youtube channel today in this particular uh, tutorial we are going to see a very detailed uh, view of uh, the two famous types of uh, the hive tables right one we keep on hearing about the managed tables and external tables so uh, i'm going to uh, do a deep dive uh, of these two types of table that are present in hive so the basic agenda uh, for creating this particular video tutorial is to explain uh, the you know main difference between the managed table and external table because this has been a very favorite question uh, for the uh, hive interviews specifically and we should also know uh, being being since we are working uh, let's say in hive uh, so we should know when exactly to use uh, the managed table and when to use the external tables okay so i am going to create uh, this particular video in two parts uh, just not to you know create a one lengthy uh, video so in the first video i will explain uh, the managed table and in the subsequent video i'll walk you through the details on the external table and then we will discuss we'll have a small discussion on uh, when to use the managed table and when to use the external table so uh, without further delay let's uh, try to understand what is the managed table so uh, managed table right as its name suggests the hive architecture right so hive is responsible hive as a tool hive as a you know query engine hql is responsible for all the metadata management data management of uh, the data within that particular table and once we uh, you know decide to use the managed table hive is going to control all the data underlying uh, that particular table right so basically uh, if i give you an example right so uh, let me just uh, show you one file uh, which i have created this employee.csv right so let's just have a look at this particular file first so it just has the couple of uh, you know records and uh, kind of a employee detail where we have this employee id employee name employee age let's say gender salary and uh, date of joining for example so in manage table what happens is this particular data right within this particular let's say we create a employee table and we wanted to you know put all these records into this particular table so that way hive is responsible for the management of the data within this particular table now when i say hive is uh, responsible to manage that let me just showcase you by creating one managed table right so basically managed table or internal table are uh, you know the terminology is uh, used for the similar thing these are just like a synonyms we can say so generally we uh, use the managed table word so let's go into the hive and let's try to create a table which will point to the data within the employee.csv so before that just let me do a cat on this so that we can just refer this while creating a table so let's go ahead and create a table now okay so hive terminal is there create table so i'll create managed underscore employee right and let's try to create the figure like columns id integer then we have name string then we have age int okay we have gender as string then salary let's say let's take it as integer and uh, i'll just write doj date of joining let's consider it for now just for the example let's consider it as string only right then our typical statement uh, row format delimited fields terminated by so fields are terminated by comma and semicolon so now if you see this particular table right so we have created the metadata and using the load statement we are going to load the data of this particular table into this right 
so before that i just wanted to show you something that let's understand like when we load this particular data right by using the load data in path statement when we will load this particular data into this m underscore employee table where exactly hive stores this particular data because the differentiating point in between the internal table or managed table versus external table is how it stores the data internally that is the differentiating point okay so let's try to understand where hive when when we are creating the managed table and syntax to create the managed table is this the one which we just saw then where it when it where it stores the data so for that if you just query this particular thing right describe format a and name of the table so it will tell you that it is going to store the data at this particular location so if you see what it is going to do is it is going to store all the data right that we will try to load in this particular table it will store that at this particular location so what is the location this uh, just forget about this hdfs quick start cloud array right? it's kind of you know the domain in which the virtual machine is present or you can call it as the full name of the location we just can concentrate on the path of this slash user slash hive slash warehouse so for the managed table this is the default location that hive uses to store any kind of data so ultimately what it is going to do is it is going to create this particular location if it does not exist obviously now since this particular location do exist it will not recreate that so user hive warehouse and under that what it is going to do is it is going to create one more directory with the same name as that of your table name now what is our table name in this case our table name is m underscore employee right so what it has done is under user slash hive slash warehouse it has created one directory called as m underscore employee and whichever data we will load from your local path or hdfs path into this m underscore employee table it is going to copy that similar file under the m underscore employee directory right so to demonstrate this particular thing what i will do is i will first of all show you that is there any file present under this particular directory or not okay so let's just come out of the terminal and let's try to see by querying the hadoop file system so it is hadoop fs hyphen ls and let's see this so under the slash user slash hive slash warehouse it has already created this m underscore employee directory right so if you see this is the directory d is written here so this is the directory and now let's see what is under this m underscore employee so currently there is no file that is copied under the m underscore employee now why it has it is not showing us anything is because we have just created the table and we have not loaded the data of this employee.csv file under this particular table okay so now let's go again into the hive terminal and let's try to load the data right so how do we load the data is by using the load data in path and here we need to give the path of this particular file okay so the path is employee.csv right so load data you should write local because it is local file that is the file on linux load data local in path slash root slash employee dot csv into table m underscore employee so this is our load data uh, statement that load data local in path this is the full pile full path of the file that we want to load into and the name of the table into table employee so let's see 
so it says loaded data to table m dot employee and now let's try to query this particular table so select star from m underscore employee i think there is some yeah, employee so it has displayed as the records that one is id name age gender salary and date of joining now let's try to see something which is interesting and that will clarify how 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 stores data now when we have earlier queried uh, the this particular directory like user hive warehouse that time it has not shown us anything that there was no file under this particular directory now let's try to query this particular location hdfs location one more time so this is the default location when we are creating the manage table slash user slash hive warehouse and directory name is going to be the same as that of your table name and if you see if you do ls on this particular table it has copied that employee.csv file under this particular location right and as soon as and when this has happened this has happened as soon as we have loaded the data so as soon as we have executed this particular command right load data local in path employee.csv into table table name it has copied this particular employee.csv file from the root folder or whichever path uh, that we have mentioned here from this to this particular place and how it has decided the this particular location is it is the default hive mechanism when you create a managed table inside the hive it is going to use this particular hdfs location always that user hive warehouse is the default path then after that name of the table name it will create one directory with the name of the table name and whichever data you wanted to load it will load all that particular files let it be csv or any other format if you want to deal with it is going to load all those files into this particular table right and that's how when now you go to this particular hive terminal and let's say if you query whatever data is present under the employee.csv file you are going to get that whenever you will query the hive table so now uh, we have already seen this but just to reiterate so select star from end underscore employee you are going to see the two records and from where these two records are coming from it is coming from this particular file so this is the concept of manage table in hive because everything every data load operation uh, the location of the file location of the data is everything is managed by the hive uh, you know hive system i would say in this particular case so here uh, when you create a uh, managed table in hive you really don't have much control upon where your data should exist what is that location let's say your requirement is you don't want to put your uh, data at this particular location you want it you want to create a hive table uh, which uh, will point to some another location the data which is present at some another location so when you have this kind of a situation or when you have this kind of a scenario then managed you cannot create basically the managed table uh, in the hive you have to go with something called as external table which we will see in the next video but for the managed table the simple thing is it is internally managed by the hive tool hive engine i would say and the by default location of the data files on the top of which you have created the hive table is always going to be slash user slash hive slash warehouse name of the directory and that name is going to be the same as that of your table name and under that whichever data you will load by using your load command that data will be copied at this particular location the one which i have selected okay so that's how the managed table works now one last thing about the managed table is what happens when we delete this particular table let's say we do the drop table m underscore employee then here what we want to see is what happens to this particular directory 
or the location which hive has created right so who has created this location we have not created this we have just created the table m underscore employee table and hive has created this particular location inside slash user slash hive slash warehouse so that's why we are calling it as a hive manage table because hive has managed to create this particular location so on the same lines whenever we will drop this particular table it will delete this location as well right so if you see i have dropped this particular location and now if you come out of the hive terminal and if you try to see that if you can get the m underscore employee directory under the user hive warehouse table then you will not see that right so that directory is also deleted because all the table metadata management all the uh, data management for that particular table is handled or is controlled by hive right and that's why we are calling it as hive manage table okay so i hope uh, you you understood this concept because there was lots of request uh, about you know creating some tutorial about uh, hive manage tables and hive external tables so that's why i try to you know dig deeper into it uh, you know couple of more uh, you know examples with some examples and all but yeah i think uh, i i hope you understood this particular video and uh, if you want to see if you want to understand the concept of external video then i'll request you to you know uh, see my next tutorial as well thank you very much thanks for watching this video and i'll see you in the next video thank you